Hello everybody, it's Carolina, this is Carolina's Closet and this is part two of me making outfits for music festival that I'm going to obviously last minute because I'm a last minute kind of person apparently. Um, so yeah, yesterday's video, I mean the video that I filmed yesterday, I don't know when these are going to be posted but I had pants that I made and I just had to do a top. Today I am dedicating to the second outfit because I have absolutely nothing. I don't have anything, I just have an idea, and that is it. <laughs> Only an idea. And my idea is insane, because I, my idea requires me to make five pieces of garment to make one outfit. And four out of five of the, the, the pieces of clothing that I want to make are knitwear. In a knitting machine, you're, you're being held on the knitting machine that I'm going to use so that's a little bit not right <laughs> uh, but yeah so I only have an idea I didn't make patterns or anything so le let me just show you so this is a bad drawing I was thinking like what do I want to wear and I came up with this idea and I just quickly sketched it and I don't have time to properly draw out so maybe uh, when I'm editing this video I will want to like make a proper design of my idea but this is the gist of it I will put it on screen so basically basically it's a skirt uh, it's knitwear so just a basic skirt but this is a fringe so fringe full fringe skirt um, <laughs> so that's gonna take a little bit of time um, if yeah I'll show you you see what I mean cuz I, I I will I don't want to waste time explaining to myself so this is the first, and this is the one one thing that I will do for sure. I do have time to make this skirt. I will do it because I want this skirt. I want to have it. I want to own it. I want to make it. I want to use it. Okay. The second thing that I want to use is a second layer that it, it's in black, so you might barely see it. Just a like under layer shirt. So this is just a big um, stretchy fabric, ribbing. It's like ribbed, and I just want to make like a. A shirt like a underlayer shirt tight fitting sewing I have an overlocker this should be fast second layer and then I have the third and fourth layer so I, I will prioritize the over like the fourth layer which is this pink sleeve that I want to make so recently I came like I started loving sleeves I literally made one yesterday for the outfit and it's basically just an easy way to make like to have a layering piece and now I love it and the fourth thing is the one that I will most likely not make and this is like a corset ish like one of those under boob corsets but I want to do it in knit which means that I would have to like make it sideways there's a whole construction in my mind that I would have to think about and I don't think I have time for that I if I end up doing it it'll probably I'll probably do it tomorrow because I won't have time to do it today. And tomorrow's already the first day of the festival. So just in the very morning. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. But I'll see. Uh, and this would be like a nice little layering piece. Little under boot corset. And then something that I didn't draw. I want to make socks. Because I probably want to wear this. Because I don't have like. The only nice shoes that I would have to wear with this combination of colors. It's either um, a converse. That I have, have a pink converse. Or I have a clear boot, like a, a clear rain boot-ish. So I feel like that would look cool with some socks in the same yarn. I don't know if I have enough yarn for all of this. I think I might because it's a very thin yarn. So thin yarn usually lasts a long time. Like let's, you know, it keeps going. But I'll see. So I want to make all of these and then socks. So five garments. If you count a sock as one piece of clothing, then six because it's two socks. Uh, so that's a lot that I want to do. I probably will not have time for all of that, but I'm just sharing you, with you the ideas that I have, my hopes and dreams. So let's start with the skirt. Basically, uh, I already started cutting some pieces of yarn, and this is just like three strands of pink color so these three they're just uh i mostly use cotton just a thin cotton yarn whatever 
Um, and then one of the green, I actually use this green for the other outfit. So it's just, I have a little bit and I have a little bit more on another little spool of yarn. And now I'm just kind of, uh, I, I'm getting them. All four of them. Actually, there's only three in my hand. So there's one missing. Also, I'm like, uh, with allergy. I am one with allergy. So don't mind my nasal sound. Janice. So I'm getting the strands of yarn and I'm just kind of um, rolling them around my arm. I feel like this is just an easy way to get like a even measurement of yarn. And I'm just looking for my scissors. I don't know what they are. I actually have a lot. I found them right here on the floor. Right here beside me. Okay, I'm doing this and then I'm cutting it. Careful. It's not a tutorial, but like be careful if you're getting inspired by whatever I do. Be careful with your fingers. Um, don't be reckless like I am. And then I have like this and then I just cut it here and here. So my fringes will look like this. So they will have this size. Something like this. And after I'm done, I will use this other, it's behind you, this other um, yarn that's a little bit thicker. It's actually quite a lot thicker than this. And this will be the base. So I'll be knitting with this and I will be putting these strands of yarn on top of this in between the weave and it will become a fringe. You will see what I mean when I do it. I just have to do a little tension test with this yarn just to be able to calculate the skirt. It's just a basic straight skirt, so I'm just going to measure my hip, see how many stitches I need to go around my hip, and I will just do straight like a rectangle that is the size of my hip. And that is it. This yarn's really good. Oh my god, no, don't fall. I have to get it from the I heard someone call this the Yussi, and yeah, I will be going for a good tension 8, and I feel like it's good with this size of yarn, and it's kind of very, like, malleable, scratchy. Malleable? Why did I say it like that? Okay, so I'm back with my swatch. Oh, and this is what I mean by fringe. So it's like this. Um, so yeah. And as you can tell, like I can literally just take it out, which means that when I'm doing the actual skirt, I will have to do a little knot at every single like little agglomeration of yarn that I put on the knit. So this is why it takes a little while. Also, um, as I did it, I can I realized like, it's a little bit too sparse. Like I know that, you know, as I grow, it will I will have like way more than this, but I just feel like it's a little too sparse. So I'm going to use a little bit less yarn and put more in the rolls that I decide to put them in. So like here I'm going from 10, every 10 stitches, I put one uh, fringe. I'm going to do like every five or seven um, stitches. Um, so I'm going to calculate how many stitches I actually need to do and do them. And I'm thinking maybe I will do a pink waistband. So I feel like it's going to look better. Okay, so basically, um, I don't have enough machine for my hips. Um, so I will have to do two panels, a front panel, a back panel and that's it so i'm going to do two panels um and then i will do a waistband ah, i'm annoyed i wanted to do like one big panel and just wrap it around i didn't have to have this big of a hip did i because now i have to do two panels instead of one if i was a skinny legend i could do one big panel Anyway, let's knit. Hey, so the amount of yarn that I had separated made it to almost one of the panels. So 
front or back. And now I'm going to make more. So this has been taking me a while. I'm pretty much done with this one panel. And I'm going to do the waistband. I'm going to do the waistband straight here. I'm not going to make it separately. Um, and I'm actually going to attach an elastic to the waistband. And kind of put it like make it go within the knit. <clears throat> so it doesn't like turn around in itself. You know how elastic does that sometimes when you don't like sew it. Um, and that's not like, I don't think that's standard like knitwear practice. <laughs> I don't think because knit is stretchy and it's supposed to like fit you perfectly. But I did this with the measurement of my hip. So it's going to be a little loose on my waist. And I didn't want to shape it. So this is why I'm doing the elastic. And because I'm only I'm doing like a half of the skirt and I'm doing the other half, I will get the elastic, measure it on myself, and I will attach and I'll mark the half of it and I will attach it here, pulling it. And that's not the best practice. I don't think it's healthy for my machine. Um but I've done it before and it worked and it worked very well. So I'm doing it again. Um, don't be mad at me if you're watching this and you're a machine carer, like a machine enthusiast and you know how to take care of yours because I don't know how to take care of my machine. <laughs> Oops. Um, that's it. Oh my god, let me tell you guys. I, yesterday, so this concert, this like festival that I'm going to, it throws like side shows throughout the week. So like the, the, the festival, is, festival, the festival is on the weekend and then throughout this whole week we had like side shows around the city, right? And the, the, the tickets for these side shows were kind of up to grab, especially for people who have both days of the festivals bought. We could just like kind of try and get them, but it was like highly anticipated. So like I had to like rush and try to get whatever I could on the website because it would it was going to sell out for, you know, for people with this kind of ticket that I had. So I just got whatever shows I could and I didn't know most of the bands. I was just kind of like going to know their music once I got there. So I got these two con these two tickets for me and my friend, and I went yesterday to this concert that I got the tickets for. And I had never heard of the bands that were playing, or a couple of bands, just like multiple act show. <coughs> and let me tell you, when I got there, and it was a heavy metal show. Me, yesterday I went to a heavy metal show, a heavy metal concert. Like heavy metal, you know, the ones that they scream. And the thing is, I've always told myself, I've always been like, oh, I'm very clinic when it comes to music taste. I really like most things, and it's true. And my Spotify wrapped up is kind of crazy. I do like a lot of different music styles, but I always told myself, I was like, I'm not really into screamo, like heavy metal that screams, because it's just not the kind of music that I, you know, I can listen to lyrics and, and just like put it on in the background when I'm knitting. So I've always told myself that, but I've always been like, I should try it out, you know, you never know. I like rock, just like normal rock, normal rock, what is normal? So I I went there and I, 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 the girls started screaming and I was like, oh, I really don't like heavy metal. Like, you cannot understand, I didn't even know what language they were speaking because it was just like so... Uh, it was so intense. They were screaming so loudly. But the thing about that I noticed with yesterday's concert with like the heavy metal, it's very nice to watch. Because so I stayed there for a while because, you know, I, I was there already. And as much as I wasn't able, um, like, I don't have the palate to really enjoy the heavy metal sound. It's, it really isn't for me. It's really nice to... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's really nice to watch because you, you look at them and they're like playing this, this instrument and screaming and you're like, how does one's voice 
last for so long when you're screaming at this level. And I'm pretty sure that like heavy metal is the kind of music style that they don't do back well, they don't do like lip syncing. I'm pretty sure they do it live. I think it, that's the thing about like the the admiration for it, isn't it? I think, I don't know, I'm not in the heavy metal scene. Um, but it's really interesting. It, I, I'm not going to one again, but I do have an admiration for it after going because it's interesting. It's interesting. They're like playing harshly and, and they're just going at it. And it's like, it's different. It's an experience, um, a loud experience, but it's an experience nonetheless. So that was yesterday, if anyone was interested. Um, try new things and you will know if you actually do not like them, which is the case for me a heavy metal. Um, but it was an experience. <laughs> and so we have one panel of a skirt. I love it. I have to calm, calm back. I have to calm it a little bit. Um, I just want to say that I have to knit the other panel very fast. So I will be filming a time lapse instead of a very cute little ASMR montage. Um, um, yeah. Even if this is the only thing that I can do out of five items of clothing that I wanted, if I can only do this one, at least it's the prettiest. It's the one that I wanted the most. So... Yeah. Um, hi guys, so I finished the whole uh, panel with the whole fringe. I just need to do the waistband. Um, I want to make the waistband, but I also have to leave to go to one of those concerts that I was talking about in the city. <laughs> I think it's too risky to start the waistband now because of the elastic. I don't want to like leave the project in the machine with the elastic on and casting off. Like taking the project from the machine takes a little bit too much time. I don't have that time now. So I just leave this like this here and I will leave because I have to go. And tomorrow morning I will finish the waistband. And I think unfortunately this is all I will be able to do. Um, too bad for me and my five items of clothing project. I might have time to do either the sleeves or the socks. I'm leaning more towards the sleeves, but, you know, let's see how my mind changes um, until tomorrow, if I have time. Hey, besties, another day, and I just finished the um, waistband for the skirt. Here it is. Whee! <laughs> and then I will close the sides. I will do that in the sewing machine right now. And then these seams that go around for the waistband. I will close them by hand either today, it will take me a few minutes, or tomorrow morning, because as we have been saying, this is actually the outfit or the only item of clothing that I managed to make that I'll be using tomorrow. And today I have to get start getting ready right now for today's festival day, which is going to be fun. Did I mention, yes, I'm using the exact same outfit that I was wearing yesterday, minus the pretty braids. So this becomes like a bad outfit. Um, I'm taking a shower right now. I'm sorry. Okay, I just woke up. I just wanted to do this. Um, and that's it. So, hey. So as I kind of predicted, even like in the first day when I still had hopes and dreams, the only thing that I was able to do was the skirt. Um, and I didn't, I'm finishing it right now. I have to still close the, these gaps. I woke up very early today to make the sleeves and I was like, I sh it, no, like, you know, just like, no, like I'm not going to waste a few hours of sleep in this kind of chaotic week to just like knit a sleeve. And also, I don't even think I have enough yarn for the sleeves, enough green yarn. Like I have enough of the pink, I think. But yeah, I'm going to like style this outfit uh, with things that I already have um, and this outfit, this skirt, and then I am going to go to the festival. But um, I still really want to finish 
the outfit that I created in my mind, like the whole outfit. So if you're watching this video and you can see in the scroll bar button, like the scroll bar down on your screen, and you can tell that there's still a little bit of video to go, I probably will make the rest of the outfit, just not for today, um, but for some other time and to wear them separately and together as a nice outfit. And I will probably click bank this video and be like, did I make this whole outfit in a day? And the answer is no, I didn't make this outfit in a day because making clothes take time. Like take making clothes takes time, especially knitting. Even if it's knitting with any machine, making clothes takes time. So this is my look. Yes, I am taking a hair my hairbrush with me because I have to like literally comb my skirt which is cool like this um I'm wearing just my pink covers um and yeah I'm also taking this wind breaker that is green it's not mine it belongs to my mother but it's Nice. I took it yesterday as well. And it matches. Um, so the back of the skirt is probably going to be covered by this. I'm also probably going to be cold anyway because this is not that... I mean, it is warm, but not that warm. Anyway, this is it um, for now. For now. Also, this is the hairstyle. I don't know if I love it. I had, in my head, I had like another idea. Um, but it would have taken me like at least an hour to do and i didn't have that time i'm also late so bye for now hey guys i am back um to finish the outfit finish the video um as i mentioned i didn't finish the whole outfit that i had in mind it was a five piece outfit um i had the skirt the socks the like underneath like undershirt um, and then I had a bustier, like, um, like a corset, but with no boob thing, and the sleeves. And as you saw, I didn't finish everything. I did the skirt, which was the most design element thing. Um, it took me a lot of time, so I, I could only do that one. Um, and I paired it with things that I had already here, um, as I showed you guys. And that was it. I went to the festival. I watched Lord play live. That was the highlight of my life so far she's amazing i love her and her concert was amazing okay okay but now i'm here to finish the outfit because i really want to have it um so i'm just going to go through everything that i'm going to do right now and i'll show you the finished outfit so first things uh i was going to do the socks so i already did one i did one yesterday because i wanted to film a TikTok telling people how to do it so if you want to know how to make a sock like this um you can go to my tiktok where i explain it or you can ask in the comments down below um for me to do a full length tutorial like real time tutorial and i'll do that because it's fairly easy and it's fun to make and I'm, i this one took me a while to make because i was filming everything and i had to get up film get up film and yada 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 but it's fairly fast i'm going to make the other one, the pair right now, I'm going to put on screen how long it takes. 40 minutes just to knit the sock. Um, and I have to close it, which will take me like 15 minutes because I close it by hand. So it's like an hour for one sock, two hours for two socks. I did get my, my yarn tangled for a bit there, but it's kind of how much it takes. I thought I could make them faster. Yeah, I used the green that I used for the base of the skirt. And then I did the, I used a combination of two yarns, two pink yarns to do the, like, the body of the sock. The green for the heel, the green for the toes. And yeah, I did make it, make it a little big. I should have made it a little smaller, but I didn't. And then after this, I want to make the sleeves. So yesterday I only did the sock because there was a World Cup game and I went out. So today I will try to finish everything. Let's see if I can. <laughs> I'll do the sleeves now. Um, 
So because, you know, the festival has gone, I had some time to like think about the design, you know, work on my time, I did some swatches. So let's talk about it. I used some blue yarn, it's just the exact same yarn as the pink, but it's in blue because I didn't want to waste my pink yarn. I might have mentioned that I had um, a shortage. I was almost at the end of my pink rolls. So first of all, I did this swatch to make the pattern for these leaves. And as you can see, like whenever I use only two strands of yarn, like two strands of this kind of very thin yarn, the same way that I did in the sock, it doesn't really mesh like the it, it, it gets like almost stripey it's randomly stripey but it's stripey it doesn't show the two yarns in a good way so I decided that for this reason and because this was getting quite heavy like this kind of little bit of a heavier knit I'm just going to use one strand of yarn the thin yarn so it's kind of very spaced out it's a very loose um, neat knit so I can kind of wear it on summer and it doesn't warm me up too much for the sleeves. So I did this um, tension square and then I already calculated the pattern for the sleeves. Um, it's basically like a, a narrow rectangle and then I open up a little bit to do like this bit here and I make a hole in the head bit and then I just go back and close this like opening for this, the, the boob thing and I do the rest of the sleeve. If you want a sleeve tutorial, let me know. I will do a more in-depth detailed one so you can actually understand and make one for yourself. So that's going to be it. I'm going to do that right this right now after I make this sock. And yeah, and if I have, I mean, if I have time, I have time now because I can make it in, the, in my time. I, I, I've been thinking of like doing a rib, like a finishing for the bottom and for the neck because I haven't done that for the sleeves that I've been doing because I did them all in a rush. And because I gave up doing things in a, in a rush for this video, I think I could make like a ribbing for the bottom and for the neck so that it just looks a little bit more put together. I like finishing my things with like almost like a fold over hem, but in the knit. So it takes a little bit longer, yada, yada, yada. So I think I'm going to do that. You'll see if I do that right now, probably. And the last thing, I mean, the last knit thing is the corset. So... This is the thing that I for sure wouldn't be able to do for the festival because like the sock, the sleeves, they're quite kind of fast, especially if I didn't calculate the sleeve and I just did it on the wing. But the corset is something that really did need a little bit of a patterning um, to make it work. So basically, I bought, um, wait, let me, I bought these things. They are like boob under boob wire things for bras and I'm going to use them so basically I already had this idea this was like I just kind of did a tension square and planned out the pattern for this because if I just did it on a wing it wouldn't work out so this is my tension square slash my sample well, not my sample but like my test round that I just did without calculation and I have two options let me just put this one here just so you can see it properly so I did this on like randomly without really calculating and this is my tension square as I might have mentioned I used the blue just because I didn't want to like waste the waste the pink and the green um, but I'm going to do it in a pink and this is three strands of yarn so I was talking about the two strands I don't really like how the two strands work because it looks like just stripes you know but the three strands it gives that like meshed like look you know with like all of the three yarns two of them are one color the other one's a different color and I like this best it does get a little like stiff like a, it's a very strong like hardy knit for this machine um, but it's kind of what I need for this um, this piece of garment so um, this was made like this in the machine so this was the bottom and I grew up like this so the boob things, they have to be do done on one side and I have to just like take off a bunch of needles and put on a bunch of needles, right? So this is like the test that I did. I did this like um, kind of boning um, gaps that I can put like a piece of boning through, boning the like structural thing for the corsets. Um, and it turned out like the way that I wanted. So I just used this to calculate my tension. So like how many 
stitches per row per per like size things and then I did a pattern for my body for a corset and because my um my mannequin that I have is kind of way skinnier than I am I had to do this with like tape like scotch tape um, but I didn't have enough, so that was a struggle. So basically, I wrapped a bunch of, like, tape around my body to, like, get the shape of it. And I drew out um, where I wanted the, like, these things to go, like, the uh, the bony things to go. And where I wanted, um, you know, how big would it be, how much I wanted the gap in the back to be. I way more tape. Like, I need to just, like, way more. Ah. So I did that um, with tape, and I didn't have enough tape. This is how it looks now. It's so just a bunch of tape. Um, I just kind of drew it out, um, kind of reinforced the line after I finished it. And then I translate. It's already in the computer. So if, it, if this gets ringed out, which is, oh my God. Um, it's already, I already um, digitized it. But... Kind of, this is kind of the gist of it. If I had more tape, I would have done a better job, but I didn't. Um, so this is like my pattern, and I think this is a, actually quite a nice way to do your own pattern for like a corset top, like a very fitted top, a very fitted dress. So I think I want to like expand on this kind of DIY way of making a pattern because it's kind of very accessible for anyone who like doesn't have. A body form because body forms are usually very expensive but anyway I did this and then I you know drew this out put it in the computer and calculated my pattern so this took me a while which means that I could never have done this for the festival with the time that I had um, this is my little pattern my little graph for the corset as I said is made on the machine like this on the side and on one side is straight because I decided to do it straight and I did the boob holes and then after I do the piece I come in with um like I come in later and do this ribbing after because this cannot be done straight in the same kind of work in this, as the same panel so I do this later I did try out like a, a larger like a, a thicker and a thinner um rib here as you can tell but it's actually really nice to study like this kind of longer more comfortable version because it's like a comfortable corset like it doesn't really tie you in because it's it's knit it stretches so that's really fun um i kind of maybe want to work more a little bit more on this after i make the one that i'm doing today just to kind of see ways of doing it maybe i can grow a boot like i can grow a boob cup from here or i don't know something i, I think this is a very cool Thing that I haven't done yet like I haven't really seen it I mean I'm sure someone did it because it's hard to be innovative in fashion but I've never like tried or, or done anything like this so it's kind of cool to like maybe expand upon so this is what I'll be doing so maybe I'll do the socks right now the sleeves later and um, hopefully by now in the video you've seen those and you will be seeing me show you the corset if I don't finish it today, I'll finish it tomorrow and I'll do a little review for you guys um, and maybe comment on my struggles that I might have had throughout this process. And that is it. Um, I'll come back to show the things and say goodbye in a few minutes.
Um, hi, um, hello, very much future me here. Um, I was editing the video very late, by the way, like it's been a while since everything happened, but I was um, editing the video and I noticed that I did a bunch of things, I did a bunch of choices that I just didn't record me talking about them. Like I made everything, I kind of recorded everything, but I forgot to film, to say like what I was doing. So I came here to like recontextualize everything and uh, yeah, so I'm going to talk about all the pieces of clothing and then I'll get to the bustier, like the uh, corset thing that I was just showing you right now on screen. So first, the socks. I'm actually wearing them. So the socks, um, the problem was actually before I filmed, I did the first sock that I filmed for TikTok and I used the new yarn. So I told you I bought a new yarn because my pink, I was running out of pink. And instead of using the old yarn that I already had used a little bit of it, um, for the socks that is the smallest piece of clothing that I was doing, I used the new one and that was a dumb choice. So for the second one, I used the old yarn and it turned out that they were different. I don't know if they're just different lots. It's like the color is a little bit different. It's, I think it's very, I think they're just completely different colors because one is very like cold and the other one's very warm. So I just think they're completely different colors. But so yeah, I have two socks and they have different colors. Um, it doesn't bother me that much to be quite honest and it's not really that noticeable. I don't even know if I'm going to be keeping the socks, I might just donate them or something because I did make them a little bit too big on me. Um, but that is that for the socks. Um, <laughs> that's unfortunate. And on the same line, talking about the sleeves now, um, I also didn't have enough yarn to the sleeve. So basically because I already had used a little bit of the yarn to do the first sock, I didn't have a full pull of yarn to do the sleeves and as I started doing the sleeve I noticed I didn't think I would have enough yarn for this the whole sleeve so I did one sleeve all the way to here and when I open up uh, the the panel to make the boob area I changed colors to the first yarn that I already had um, and then I changed back here in the end to do the sleeve that was that it does it is seeable <laughs> you can see it when you look close to the top because it's like very compartmentalized like it's a sleeve in one color and then the middle bit in like a slightly different color and then the other sleeve in the same color as the first sleeve it's kind of okay it could look like a design choice i did do the bottom um rib but i didn't do the rib in the neck because i just didn't want to <laughs> i was bored of this this kind of colorway this top at this point also about the sleeve, um, I made it too long. I kind of thought about doing it a little long, but I think I did it too long and it's now just like a crop top, a long sleeve crop top. It's not really a sleeves. I shouldn't be calling them sleeves because they're just a crop top. Um, and because they got a little bit too long, in the final shoot you see, like when I took the photos, I did end up taking it out for a lot of the photos because it just covered the whole top, um, the whole like corset top because it's kind of long, so uh, uh, choices were made. I definitely can wear it more now because I just like crop tops instead of sleeves more for my day to day, but for this outfit, it's kind of a fail, kind of a fail. Um, and then about the top, the corset top that I was talking about. Um, so basically, of uh, about the yarn, I didn't really have enough yarn, so I had to buy another yarn. <laughs> and. I, I had just barely enough of the light color, like the very light pink. So I spun it in different ways. So I have one uh, a cone of yarn with two light pinks and one dark pink, and then another cone with two dark pinks and one light pink. And I changed colors every time I had a new kind of smaller pattern piece, but it was all done in one thing. And because I didn't know if I had enough and I didn't have enough of the pink, the light pink matched, I also used um, full pink for a few of the the panels. And once I finished it, I realized I had done a little bit of a mistake in the calculation. Basically, the under boob area got a little bit too long. It came all the way kind of down my armpit. And that was a little bit of a struggle, like a problem, because I already had the wire thing to put underneath the boob. And um, I just basically wouldn't be able to really put it in. like I could just kind of force it in and like kind of bunch it a little bit I don't think it would be that much of a problem but I just 
uh, I don't know. Like I, I, I when once I was thinking about it, I was like, I don't think I would like this kind of underboob corset as much as I would like a full like bustier like with cups and everything. And then I did a second um, top with the exact same pattern, just a different colorway. And I did the bust thing like to test it out. And it worked out perfectly. I really liked it. On the first one I did, I did kind of fucked up here. I did a little bit too like small here. So I did that and I liked it. So I decided to do this top that I was making for this video with the cups of the bustier like top thing. So that I can wear it more, I can wear it by itself, and I just would like it better, I think is a nice design. So that's what I did, I had to do the cups almost like I do the heel of a sock with like the a partial knit all the way to half of it-ish, and then all the way back, and then I had to attach another roll of um, kind of bias, like with the green one on top of, like in the end, for the, the finishing of the top so it was a lot more finishing touches like it took me a lot longer than i anticipated everything took me longer um i also didn't have full days obviously um to do everything but it, it is way more than a one day project um also yeah i did uh not put the boning like the structural bits on the um spaces for it because i don't know like once i i would have needed it <laughs> I would have needed it if I did the only under boob because it holds the structure, especially on the middle part of the top. Um, otherwise, it just flops down. But once I didn't really do it like that, I did the cups, the cups and the string, um, like the spaghetti strip, holding it up kind of do the job and I didn't need the whole structural bits especially because it's a knit like it looks like a corset but it's not really a corset it's a knit so um I really didn't need that piece of plastic in between my knitted top like I just didn't need it so I just didn't put it in um and that is it for the top with that um I do have to say that the final look didn't really look like the first my first idea um, I will draw out like how the look ended and how my idea was. Um, I did change things. I didn't end up doing the underneath like just fabric layer, um, like top shirt, knit shirt <laughs> underneath because I already had like a boob coverage. I didn't need that anymore. Of course, this top is layerable. Layerable? Is that a word? I can use it with um, a top underneath or layer up or down but it's, it, it goes by itself now, it doesn't need an underlayer. Um, so I didn't do the underlayer because I was tired of this project. <laughs> I do, I have worn the top out a couple of times now, so I actually really, really love it. I love this colorway, um, but that was kind of it. Um, also for the skirt, I don't know if I talked about it on the clips, but I will just say now, uh, this is definitely like a fashion design element. The fringe is kind of very annoying, the yarn fringe that I did because I had to wash the skirt because I went to a festival and once I washed it, it got all tangled. I kind of anticipated that would happen. Not only got, firstly, I thought it was, oh, it's, it's, it's curly. It's like a curly hair. It's nice. It's manageable. Um, but it's not really, it didn't like look just curly. It was like knotted in a little bit. So I had to comb through every single layer of the yarn fringe once I washed it and dried it. Um, so that's unfortunate and that's not really practical. Like I either have to like wash it and right after I wash it, I have to comb through my whole skirt or I have to like leave it as is. But every time I want to wear it, I have to comb it. And it takes a little while, I'm not gonna lie. It takes a little while to comb through all of the like layers of fringe obviously i could like dry clean them like dry clean the skirt but i just eh, i don't like dry cleaning it's just like putting a bunch of chemicals into my clothing i don't know if i like that um i also i when i took the final shots of the the look i didn't i just brushed them through but something that i could have done as well is like literally flat iron the strings to make them uh, more straight like they were in the first time that I did them. 
I think that would work just fine. I just kind of was lazy. I didn't want to do that and I had something to do after I took the photo. So I, I was in a little bit of a time crunch. So that is that. Um, that is everything. I will let you, I will leave you now with some lookbooks, some photos of me wearing the outfit. Do you guys like it? I hope you enjoyed it. It's different from the first drawn, like the first idea, but I think it looks nice. I really like all of the elements. Of course, the top is the most wearable thing and the like sleeves, that's not just a crop top. The skirt is a little bit of like a novelty piece. I don't know how much I'll wear it, like how often I'll wear it, but yeah, I have some nice clothing now. Um, this is the end of the video. Let me know if you watched it till the end and what you thought about it. What do you thought about my clothing, my outfit, my brand new handmade knitted outfit. Oh my god, I talked so much. Um, and yeah, consider giving it a like in this video and comment down below what you think. Subscribe to the channel because it's a new channel. Um, it's not really new. I cannot say it's a new channel. It's a small channel, okay? And also, I will end up posting this video very, very, very close to Christmas because I just procrastinated editing it. So, Merry Christmas, I guess, if you watch this when I post it, which you most likely won't. And yeah, um, follow me on my other social media and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!